in my front yard laying out where I want to put my asphalt and the, the concrete ribbon kind of spraying some paint kind of laying it out and I felt this knob under my foot right here and I've got one of these roots to pull out so I know you guys love watching me tear the grass up with these roots so I'm just gonna start digging this thing out so this is pretty hard right here this is one of those root nodes or nodules or whatever you want to call it it's pretty pretty hard so it's pretty big it's probably like about two inches in diameter and that's a big root there's a big root under there so I just like to slowly dig at this until I can get a good handle on it so that roots probably like this big around it is a deep one and it's a big one so I've just been about 10 minutes trying to dig this root up I think I broke it so now I can start pulling on it so watch this I hate these roots I hate these trees So when I come out and I feel that hard root that looks like this and it's sitting on the surface of the grass, it just pisses me off. I guess all that humic acid and fertilizer, I know where that's going and how that's getting used up. These roots. So see how big this, this root is around? It's probably an inch in diameter. cannot even lift it anymore it's in it's so big of a root this wants to give me trouble so that root broke off pretty good right there I think that's about where I'm gonna stop you can see all this damage that I've done I'll try to piece this back together as best I can then whatever I cannot get pieced back together right I'll just put some sand in there and hopefully it'll fill in. But you can see all these roots that I've just pulled out just in this small section. That was a pretty big one. These roots are incredibly annoying. So, so if you suddenly get a hankering to plant a cottonwood tree, just remember this video. Remember what I got going on here. And the thing that's crazy is these things will just, there's no end to these tree roots uh, spreading through here. If I let this go, this would have turned into a big tree within, you know, by next spring, it'd be 10 foot tall, easy, right here, if I would have let it go. So I caught another one. Check this out. Oh, look at that. That one came up pretty easy because that's where I dug that tree. That's where I put this tree in. I must have caught the root right there. Ugh. Oh! That one's in there freaking tight. So there you go, you can see kind of what I've done. So I've made a big old mess and I've got all of these roots here out. So these roots kind of grow along just right under the surface of the soil stealing my water from my turf and then they spring up send up these shoots and if I left this alone it would grow into a tree by like April or May it'd be 10 foot tall easily I'm kind of always doing this that is one of the main reasons I want to get rid of these cottonwood trees and then I've got all the cotton that comes off the trees and stuff so I really want these gone now I got to try to put all this back together and it's just really really frustrating but it's the story of my life and I've been dealing with these for all the years that I lived here which it hasn't been many maybe four years I just want these trees out of my life I hate these cottonwood trees they are the worst 
But I tell you what, as crappy as this is to see this all torn up, it's very, very satisfying when I grab one and pull it and I get a nice long one like this. That is extremely satisfying to me. I don't know why, but just knowing that those stupid things are out of my life and they're not there, I just like it. So I'm just gonna kind of try to put this back together the best I can. <laughs> And hopefully it will be a somewhat of a success. I'm not really that worried about it. It'll grow back just fine. This is Kentucky bluegrass. It spreads awesome. It creeps and it'll fill in all the holes. And I'll put fertilizer on here and it'll be just fine. So anyways, so there we go. I got it all cleaned up. It doesn't look too bad. It'll be fine. There will be some low spots that'll have to put a little bit of sand in there to kind of level it out a little bit. But I've done this many times before. I showed that on camera. I did it over here and it's still kind of repairing itself over there. I hate doing that, but I just, I find satisfaction in, in getting those roots up and out of there. I really like that a lot. So, so if you guys like my content, hit the subscribe button down below and like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.